Uh, this video will complete the um, chalice veil. In the last one, I told you to sew, starting here, going all around, and leaving an opening, and then clipping the corners. So that's where you should be by now. Now we're going to take a piece of round cardboard. I got this on the inside. Who knows? One of those, um, I don't know if it was wax paper, saran wrap, aluminum foil, one of them. It's nice and sturdy, so it's not going to bend. And you want to insert it inside. And then we're going to press. When you press, you have to hold either side of the fabric, the lining in the fabric, and push it down really nice and tight. And then you press it towards the lining. Hold and press, hold and press all the way around and go as close as you can to the corners. Just keep moving the circle around and you'll be able to um, lay that nice and flat for yourself. And you're gonna take it out. Oops, there you go. And turn it inside out. I found this little implement and it works well to get those corners just as square as you'd like. Be careful not to do it too too hard because then you'll go right through the fabric fabric. Turn, turn it all. Just keep putting your hand in there. A little tricky. <laughs> you can get it all. Turn it right side out. And get some pins. a little implement here get those corners better there we go one two three one more See how nice and flat that lays. Look at that. Okay. Got a nice light. If you're not sure when you're all done that it's square, you could use a pattern. Place it on top of your pattern. And you could see if it's square. Or if you like, you can get one of these. These are a quilting board. And you can place it on the top of the quilting board to see if your corners are nice and square. Both those uh, methods work well. When you get to the edge here that it is opened, I think what I'll do is I'll use a, um, an opposite color thread so you can see how it should be sewn. Put it to the right side. What I do is I pin along the edge. See how nice it falls? I'll go back and fix that corner. Tuck that in. And if you just pull the fabric, it'll lay nice and flat. You'll be surprised how nice it works.
Oops. You want the lining to be slightly underneath, so when you're coming to the front of the fabric and you're looking at it, you can't see the lining. You won't be able to see the lining. You want to check and see if that's nice and straight. Here we go. You can use this. Pull it from end to end. And see? See how nice it lays? Nice and flat. This here, we're just going to tuck it in a tiny bit more under. There we go. We'll get some thread. I'm not going to sew this whole thing. I'm just going to sew a little section of it to show you. And I'm going to use a color red just so you can see what the stitches are. It's not going to be a permanent uh, fix here. I'm going to take it out and redo it in white, of course. Sometimes uh, thread doesn't like to go through the needle right away, and sometimes there it goes, nice and easy. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to hide the knot underneath. Hide the knot underneath. And you're going to take the needle, run it along the edge here of the top, like that, and take it, run it along, just even, but onto the fabric now, go across, go down here, right along the edge of the lining, come up. Now when we use white thread, of course, you won't see those little stitches. And then go all the way to the end and then hide the knot underneath and then press it. And there you go. You'll be all done. Good luck. Good sewing.